How's it going, all my tacticians? Welcome back to another battle from yours truly, about the W's of Tactical Knowledge. Let's get right into it between me versus Potato. Now, listen up, tacticians. This battle was very, very close. It was razor thin close. Like, seriously, it was very razor thin close. I can't even describe how close it was. But in any case, I'm going to be starting off. With Clyde, and I believe I sent in Yara. No, Clean Clay. There we are. And Potato is going to be leading off with his Lucario and his Meow Stick Male. Now, I start this battle off very simple, pretty straightforward. It's going to Mega Evolve Smith because, you know, he Smith wants to go in and do his thing. And Lucario, he's going to go with the Follow Me. So, this is this not exactly was not conducive to my battle strategy as a whole. He's going to go for the Reflect Bear, going to increase his physical defenses. I'm going to go for the U-Turn out. It was originally meant for the Meow Stick, but couldn't get the KO off, couldn't get the damage off because of the Follow Me. Lucario takes that, going to really resist me, and I'm going to send Indrea in, you know, response to that Reflect. As for Clink Clink, I'm going to just going to shift gears here, going to shift my gears, because I got gears and they need shifting, and I'm going to increase my speed and my physical attack power. Master, he's gonna go to go for another light for another bear here involving the light screen. Dado's gonna really increasing his defenses, and I'm just gonna keep on shifting gears because hey, if I if my if I don't have to worry about my losing my focus attack yet, why not go for another attack or why not go for another shift here? Goes with a reversal here, not able to do a whole lot of damage because he doesn't have you know a lot of health or he doesn't have little health, so nothing there to do. Now Lucario takes a flamethrower from Doria, and now we're once again going with the follow me. I don't understand why he's constantly going for these follow me's. As for Meowstick, he's going to go for the Thunder Wave onto Clink Clank. I thought electric types were immune to paralysis. They are, but, you know, unfortunately Clink Clank is a steel type, not an electric type. So I've got no choice here. i got to go for the shift or uh, gear grinding, grinding my gears against Lucario. That's going to take Lucario down. It's not very effective, but it does hit two times, and it was able to get the Lucario down. I go for the flamethrower here just in case I, you know, couldn't get the KO off on the Lucario. But, you know, things aren't looking good for me. Now, out comes the Electivire. This is really bad for me because this is a motor drive uh, Electivire, and he's going to go for the Swagger onto the Electivire. And increase that physical attack confusion hits, but unfortunately, or fortunately for Potato, he has a prison berry to get rid of the confusion. And Sub Zero Ice Punch comes out from the Electivire. If anyone knows where I got that from, kudos to you, as Drea gets a KO'd right there. Now I got no choice, I gotta grind my gears more against the Meowstic. I'm able to do some sweet damage on the Meowstic that get, nearly gets it down to zero. I'm surprised it actually managed to survive that second gear grind. Now out comes Kristen. So Kristen is now on the field. Meowstic goes for another Thunder Wave. This time it's going to connect on the Kristen. I did not manage to get, you know, a or an attack off. I did not go for the extreme speed. Not able to do that. Kristen takes an Ice Punch to the face. Survives barely. Barely. As I go for another shift gear. Trying to keep my speed up. Trying to outspeed this Electivire. I do not understand how it's so fast. Ugh, but I go for a waterfall here. Going to deal some damage. Not a whole lot. And Miasta gets out of dodge. Manages to avoid the KO. Now Tapu Koko comes out onto the field. And is going to set up the Electric Surge. This is really bad news bear for EP. As I go for the extreme speed. Not able to get rid of the Miasta. I go into the Tapu Koko. Deal some damage. Clink clink is paralyzed and another ice punch comes out from the electivire this is so horrible for me this completely goes against my team they are not prepared for anything like this as i bring out charlotte now it's five to four i go he goes for, potato goes for a di for discharge here giving the electivire even more speed with the motor drive not able to deal any damage to charlotte because of her night because of her typing, I go for a grinding gears here against the Tapu Koko. Managed to get the KO here thanks to my thanks to my clink clank, but not able to deal any damage to the Electivire, as you'll see here. 
Tampa Cook who goes down, but Electivire goes for the cross trap into Charlotte. She goes down into the KO because, you know, Clink Clink is the one with the focus sash. None of my other team have focus sashes, etc. Now out comes the Club Fable. I am in desperation mode. I'm down to three Pokemon. I think Smith is now on the field. Clink Clink is going to go for a, you know, nothing here because Smith is going to be protecting. Electivire comes out. Oh, both of my Pokemon protecting here because I'm trying to outlast something. I don't know why I went for a double protector, but in any case. Wild Charge comes out from the Electivire, manages to avoid, K uh, avoid a KO there. And now the Z-Move comes out, out from the Z out from the Club Favor, comes out with something here. I don't know what it actually does. Z-Heal, though. So, why the Z-Heal, though? Oh, I was waiting out for the Reflect. There we go. Now Wild Charge comes out, gonna connect onto Clink Clank, deals so much damage to Clink Clank, that's gonna be the end of my Clink Clank, as for Electivire loses health because of the Life Orb damage, or not Life Orb, but Recoil, go for the U-turn, get rid of the Electivire, manage to get the KO on it, and I go back into my Absol because that's the only Pokemon I have left to me. Lunara is now out on the field, and Clefable goes for the Moon Blast. I don't know if this was a prediction or not, but I flubbed it up and lose my Lunara. That's going to be the end of my Absol. I could not do anything in that battle. <laughs> now I'm down to one Pokemon. It's Smith against the world, people. Smith against the world. <laughs> it's a this is so horrible. Three to one. I've only got a beadwell left. Yasta goes for the reflect here. Just shoring up the defenses. I'm, you know, preparing for myself. I go for a fell stinger onto the Miastic. This is my last hope to get a fell stinger off. Manage to get the KO on the Miastic. That's going to increase my attack stats drastically. Three stages of power. And Clefable goes for the cosmic power while I'm talking about power. Infinite power, tacticians, infinite power. Oh boy, this is a Clefable's dream right now. All it has to do is just cosmic power up, and all I have to, all I have left is just Smith and his power. I go with a poison jab here, gonna go straight into the Togetic because I was predicting a follow me, so I'm like, forget it, I'm not gonna bother. Togetic does not survive that. I managed to get the KO off, so it's 1v1 now. Clefable goes for a power up. Gonna go for more cosmic power, but I'm still breathing, still breathing, tacticians. It's 1v1 now. I'm pr praying at this point for help. Praying something helps me here. Clefable absorbs that with power. Moonblast comes out. I don't know why it doesn't have stored power. I think it just, you know, didn't have it, but it's. Just a battle of tanking power and pure offensive force. I'm doing everything I can. I go for another poison jab here. Clefable gets able to absorb that attack with the cosmic power. Moonlight comes out from the Clefable. Restores all the work Smith just did. All that effort gone. I go for one more poison jab because this is all I have. All I have is my poison jab. And Clefable is just now poisoned. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm losing here. And Moonlight comes out once again from the Clef Fable. Gonna be restoring its health right again. Oh my goodness, and this is where I find out the Clef Fable is actually susceptible to the, to the poison. So I'm thinking, alright, I can win this if I can just keep poking it down. I go for a poison jam here, and I get the crit of all things! The crit of all things! Critical hit really mattered in this fight as I... Oh, Oh, it was so close, Tacticians. <laughs> it was close. Oh my goodness, that was a close battle, let me tell you. It all came down to Smith and his just offensive pressure with the Fell Stinger. If he did not get that Fell Stinger off, I probably would have lost that battle right off the bat. But in any case, Tacticians, I hope you kids all enjoyed the battle. I'll see you, Tacticians, next time. Bye bye! I'm taking in what I can get, but I can't find the answers yet. Head in the water, slow my mind. I hold my breath until I'm found.